Engineering the Perfect Season is brought to you by GMC. A visionary team owner. A lot of it's about speed and grittiness. A pair of bold young architects. There's watching a game on TV, but there's being here. 67,000 screaming fans and a Guinness Book record shattered. He must have knocked five guys down on the way to the end zone. The beast is alive and well. The Seahawks had a great season last year. They're defending Super Bowl champs. Many fans believe at least some of their success is directly tied to this stadium. It has a smaller footprint, but the design seems to amplify the sounds inside. It has a world record for being loud. They call it the home of the 12th man. We did things differently and that's why it's cool. Sometimes you do things differently and it doesn't work out. There's so many little details here. Those piers, the concrete piers and the seismic joints, the hawk's nest. That's the amazing thing about this project. It literally came off the drawing boards alive the way we drew it. The vision for CenturyLink Field began nearly 20 years ago when Paul Allen bought the team and decided that the Seahawks would have to abandon the indoor comforts of the Kingdome and take their game outside. Allen brought together a team of architects from the firm Acom, including John Nemeth and Christopher Mitchell. What was the idea behind this place? Well, it all started when Paul Allen said, I want that same kind of experience that I grew up with out at Husky Stadium. He wanted that collegiate atmosphere, something with people on top of the game. It was loud. And it was loud. So there were all these discussions about what was a college experience like versus an NFL. It doesn't look so out of place now, but this was an alien when it opened. It was so different. When you were coming up with the materials to build this place, were you thinking loud? Back then, you know, we didn't have computers, you didn't have the modeling capabilities, so when you're trying to minimize weight, well, you just use steel instead of concrete. Well, that made it loud, and it made it really loud. You don't know if a car is fast till you road test it. You don't know if a stadium is loud till you add the fans. Just how loud? We're about to find out. Advanced Stadium Engineering is helping teams harness the power of the 12th man. The GMC Yukon Denali uses purposeful design and engineering to raise its game too, with an acoustic laminated windshield, triple sealed doors, and an advanced Bose noise canceling system. It's designed to keep the noise outside, giving everyone inside a much quieter ride. The GMC Yukon Denali, that's professional grade. January 8th, 2011. The Seahawks are fighting for their lives against the Super Bowl champion Saints. Finds a little bit of a hole, keeps his legs moving. He's across the 40. When the Seahawks come from behind, on the run, Lynch. 40 pushes him at 35. Look at him go. And he's score the, the winning 20, touchdown. He's a go. The he's crowd a go. goes berserk. Touchdown, Seahawks! The sound generates seismic activity, and a small earthquake strikes downtown Seattle. The beastquake, as it came to be known, confirmed what Seattle fans already knew. CenturyLink Field is really, really loud. But aren't all NFL stadiums loud? On September 15, 2012, former Seahawk Joe Tafoya invited the Guinness Book of World Records to CenturyLink Field in an effort to make history. When you broke that record that night, what was the reading? 137.6. What does that mean? What's a 137.6? Well, when you think of a jet engine being at 160 decibels up close, 137.6 is a tremendous roar to get out of any crowd or out of any piece of equipment. CenturyLink Field has a clamshell roof covering 70% of the 67,000 seats. The roof is made up of two large arched canopies, parabolic, like satellite dishes, focusing sound waves and blasting them down to the field. The stadium's upper level seats are stacked above the lower level, creating a kind of cantilever, cave-like overhang that has the deep resonance of a concert hall. Add to this the materials, metal, metal, and more metal. And you've got a stadium that's designed for maximum volume, like the carefully crafted body of a giant musical instrument. No part of CenturyLink Field represents the culture of the 12th man, the spirit of fan participation, better than the hawk's nest. 
13 stories of pure metal. It's the homage to the college stadium of Paul Allen's memory. Bare bones, utilitarian, and loud. All right, now we gotta see how much noise we can make. You ready? All right, ready? Come on, here we go. Sunday, November 27th, 2005. In a dramatic overtime win, the Seahawks defeat the New York Giants, who are called for 11 false start penalties and three missed field goals. Courtesy of 67,000 screaming fans, Mike Holmgren dedicated the game ball to the crowd. What began as Paul Allen's vision has become a weapon in the hands of the NFL's most dominating 12th man. The 12th man. You have to love the intimidation factor. Teams feel it when they come here to play. Still, rain or shine, come game day, Seattle still has to bring it. Playing in a stadium that has a reputation for being loud certainly helps. It's just one more way the Seahawks are engineering the perfect season.